Shalom. I just want to come with a topic. Um, this one's going to be called the Islamic Caliphate, uh, the empire that's going to rule the Eighth Empire. I mentioned in one of my uh, videos. I post the video on Daily Motion, and yeah, this one's going to be on SkyTube as well. And uh, I'll get right into it. This is the Islamic Caliphate. The Eighth Empire is going to rule. I'm going to start with the fourth verse. You know, everybody knows Revelation, uh, uh, Revelation 17 so far. And I'm going to get the fourth verse. And the woman that was arrayed, arrayed, arrayed uh, in a purple, purple and scarlet color and decked with gold, previ precious stone and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand, full of abomination and filthiness of her fornication. And upon her forehead was the name written, Mystery Babylon, the great mother of harlots, and the abominations of, of the earth. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints, and the blood of the Mattias of Yahuwah. And when I saw her, I wondered, I wondered with a great admiration. And the angel said unto me, Where, uh, Wherefore did, didst thou marvel? I will tell the mystery of the woman and of the beast that carried that carried her with hate the seven heads and the ten horns. The beast that thou sawest was is not and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit and go into the perdition and they that they that dwelt on the earth shall wonder whose names was not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world. When they behold the beast that was that was and is not yet it is and here is the mind with hate wisdom the seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sit sitteth and there were seven kings five they seven kings and five are fallen and one and the other is not yet come and when he cometh he must continue a short space and the beast that was is is not even he is the eighth. He is the eighth and is of the seventh and goeth into perdition. I'm gonna start with the twelfth verse, the final verse. And then the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings which receive no kingdom as yet, but receive power as kings, one horn with the beast. And these have one minded and shall give their power strength unto the beast. Yeah, so if you read the ninth verse, it said the like the mind of wisdom. And if you read like the tenth verse, like the one space, if only read this again, the tenth verse against uh Revelation seventeen and ten. And there are seven kings. The seven kings like has 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 been in it, you know, the seven the seven kings. Like there's seven heads of leadership, the seven kings of leadership that is like ruling right now, like the EU and stuff like that, the Roman Catholic Church, the Islamic Caliphate or Caliphate, where you want to call it, they're ruling right now. That we're not in our land, so Israel, we're not in our land. So anything that we do, we're not in our land. So all this Caliphate, they're trying to get in the Valley of Jehoshaphat. They have a short time. They took down the Roman Catholic Church. They took down the beast. So they have to acknowledge the first beast, Babylon, and all these others. So all this right here, they're trying to take over the world. Um, all the way to Indonesia and stuff like that, Malaysia, all that. All the way up here in Ethiopia. All these areas right here in North Africa. All these areas. Turkey, places like that. Russia, all them places. So as you can see, there's a red. And I have another one. Like I show in my other video, it's called the Fadmen Islamic Caliphate, and that's what they're doing right now. They're over there now fighting Damascus, right? And you can watch that on RT. So, yeah, this is to show you that what they're going to do in these last days, they're already over there now, but they're trying to have a war right now. They're fighting right now. So, yeah, there's seven kings, and five are falling. When they say five are falling, one of them falls. And, it's, and it said, one is is and the other is not yet to come. And when he command, he must continue a short space. That means a short time. That's talking about the Eighth Empire. And then he said the perdition, well, he is the Eighth. 
and is one of the seven and going into prestition like the seventh empire has not failed so I mentioned that in Mystery Babylon like I had it on uh, one of my YouTube old pages but yeah this is this is one recent one I've, I've done and this is this is the basically that what I want to trying to do and talk about the kings and you know you read the 12 and 13 verse like I just mentioned like mine and shall give their power and the strength unto the beast and then and, and said the ten horns are ten kings they said ten kings which receive no kingdom as yet that's right they haven't seen them yet and one hour when it says one hour with the beast when it says one hour that's when the most size going to come but see that a lot of people call it the antichrist whatever it's going to come um it's going to be in this area. They're going to be all in the Middle East. And when the Most High comes back, he's going to destroy them and get rid of the, the beast itself. So only the Most High. So you, why would why would everybody say go flee for America? And you see how wicked people are teaching that, that America is Babylon. But as you can clearly see, Jerusalem is Babylon. And now they rule in Jerusalem. It's going to happen again. History repeats itself. Like the, like the, like the four or five kingdoms equals who is going to be the future kingdom like the Medo-Persian Empire so I would say the Islamic Caliphate they come close so yeah I just want to have a quick short one and to let you to see that this is what it's talking about the whole time that Jerusalem is Babylon once again and it will it will always be Jerusalem so yeah Yeah, that's what that's basically it. That's what I want to put out there. So with that, I want to say shalom.